Jackie Snow, playing a woman who has lost faith in almost everybody, yet she works at a call center uh, for prayers in Dial a Prayer. Here she is trying to learn the ropes with some on-the-job training. Um, how may I pray for you today? This rash. Can't you stop the itching? Ernest, uh, it's time to wrap it up. See, you have a rash. rash. Um, where is the rash? Well, that's quite private. No, 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 I just, I just need more information because the more specific that we are with our prayers, the more that the good Lord will be willing to take your worry into consideration. All right, are you ready to pray with me? I hear that. I, I do. Hello? Hung up? <laughs> hung up? Yeah, I wasn't doing a very good job. <laughs> well, you got a rash call. You weren't expecting that. First wow. of all, hello. hello. Here's a rock here, okay? Yes. All right. She's a little high now because she's... On cupcakes. She's on you cupcakes. You understand. Yeah. You can relate. Really? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. It's my drug. All right. in, this, uh, in this movie, you are a person of a little faith uh, and uh, kind of lost, right? Very much so. Um, I play a girl named Cora who has lost faith in... I mean, she, she grew up religious, but um, she lost faith in, in her people and herself. She joins a um, kind of a cult-like um, group that she really believes in, and they start defacing churches, and she gets caught up in something that she is way over her head and does something very destructive and hurts someone, and so she has to uh, do community service at a call center to kind of repent for her sins, but it's um, it's a it's not very much a, a faith religious movie at all. It's really about believing in people and being good to people, and so. But she does undergo a real change. Because she does this. because she has to start helping people and talking to people, and she shut herself off from the world. She doesn't talk to anybody, and she doesn't like anything. And so, this is her ability of, of really connecting with people, whether that's through prayers or just. Saying hi to now the clip else. we showed was kind of comedy. I mean, yeah, there's comedy in this. Yeah, there is comedy. It's a very much a dramedy. Um, mm. There's a lot of comedy because it's kind of, you know, silly sometimes the things that happen in the call center. But it's also very dark because of the things that she's gone through and has to go through. And you've got William H Macy. Yeah, yes. that's not too awesome. bad. <laughs> not too bad. That's like an acting lesson just being around him, right? It really was. Every day on set, it was just so inspiring because I really learned from him, and he was really great and and was very open open with sharing his knowledge and he has a lot of it so so I loved Pitch Perfect Pitch Thank Perfect you. 2 tell us about it yeah um, Pitch Perfect 2 it's coming out in May and um, I'm very excited I think everyone's gonna really love it if you liked the first yeah. one you will like love this, this one. one it's crazier and bigger but um, it's all the same things that you Now, loved. are you picturing uh, Pitch Perfect 23, the, grand, <laughs> the grandchildren sing? <laughs> Actually, we do joke about that. We're like, it's going to be Pitch Perfect on ice, Pitch Perfect <laughs> on cruise. We're like, we're going to be playing this character. I'd first. like you should work the call center because... <laughs> Really? Yeah, because no, because her attitude is fix it yourself and you hang up. That right? is not true. What? I actually was a volunteer at the teen hotline oh. call center when I was younger. You know, you oh, told cool. me that. See, right. I have yeah. not told you that. Don't lie. Yes, you did. Yes, did you I? did. Yes. Okay. okay. And and but you, you also when you do that, you're helping people, but you are really broadening yourself. Aren't that is you? true. Yeah. That's probably the best thing about being that's, involved in something like that. That's you learn exactly a lot about yourself. the whole message yeah. of the movie too is that it, it in, invertedly does that for yourself. So, Brittany, I know a couple, it's been a couple of years, you got a puppy, I remember, and oh, yeah. your puppy like had issues, like insecurity issues, yes. and you had thought that perhaps it was because you spoke to your puppy in a cartoon voice. Are you still doing this? I, um, well, now she's six, so it was five and a half years ago that I got her. Um, you know, it's funny because my friends and I still joke that she probably in her dog mind is thinking, why do they talk to me like yeah. that? Grow up. It's so Grow weird. up, like, yes. We're like, hello, you know, or whatever. <laughs> and she's probably like, ugh, just talk to me so like a So she would only person. do commands if you did that voice? Right. Now she's gotten a little bit better, you know, um, you, as uh, times have changed. Do you blame changed. yourself for this? I do. I blame myself every night. Do you, I, do you blame yourself for everything? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm, that's why I eat so many cupcakes. Yeah. So, uh -huh. so if you said sit, she wouldn't sit. You had to say... Um, I'd have to go like sit, Billy, sit, and you know, then she would sit. But now she's gotten a little bit better. But I still, I look at her cute yeah. face, and I'm like, hi. That you must know. be awkward if you had guests over and you were like, everyone talks to her like oh. that now. Oh, so Hard everyone has to. a cartoon voice. Yeah, if you saw how her, do you, you, uh, you would know. How do you talk to your boyfriend? <laughs> I don't do that. You don't talk to him. Sit. Oh, okay. eat your food. <laughs> yeah, we don't talk. You don't talk. You text. Oh yeah. Why did you become an actor? 
Um, well, I got into it when I was a kid. My mom got me into it, um, but then I started really loving it. I remember when I was 12 and I was doing a soap opera, I, I got that feeling, that high of being out of your body when mm -hmm. you're doing a scene, and I was like, oh my gosh, thank gosh I'm doing this because this is what I want to do for the rest of my life, and I don't know how to do much else, so I hope it works. Didn't <laughs> so you, you said that um, when you were working with Michelle Pfeiffer on, on Hairspray, right? Or yes. hair. No, hairspray. 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 Sorry, hairspray. She gave you this great advice. What was that? She said, um, she was, we were at dinner like, and she, don't fall into the Hollywood thing. Yeah, she, I, I, I asked her because I was, I was 21 and I was just getting into that world of, of that being um, something that I thought I had needed to be a part of, the like going out and yeah. things like that. And she really broke it down for me and said that it was really all about sticking to what you believe in. And, and she did tell me like, be friends with a really great designer, go to those parties, and that's all you need to do. You don't need to go anywhere else. I, I thought there was going to be some spiritual message here. It was, but I was specifically asking her, yeah. like, do I need to go to all these like, what, what, fashion events? You was know? there a magnetic thing because you were of an age where actresses your age were all have their own little pack and they were being reported on at every moment? Were you drawn to that? I definitely was never drawn to that. I, I never got, um, no one ever really cared. Everyone <laughs> ever, Stop like, it. always asked me, like, how'd you stay at the tabloids? I'm like, because no one was looking. Yeah. I'm, I was drinking too, but, uh -huh. like, no, I, I definitely, like, had Did a you, good work ethic, but. But you never had that moment where you're walking out of the ivy and saying, please, well, how about me, right? You know? No, I'm way too shy. I, most of the time in paparazzi pictures, I'm scowling because I just am so shy. It's not because I hate them, it's because I'm like, oh, like, yeah. it's just weird, so no. All right, Dial of Prayer <laughs> opens uh, in select L.A. theaters tomorrow. It'll also be available on iTunes. Thank you. Very nice of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.